Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be trying some makeup from Juvia's Place. I've never tried this brand before. Um, I went to Ulta um, to get some of my, like my usual foundation. I usually use the L'Oreal Paris um, Infallible Pro Matte. Um, I really like this foundation a lot. It's like a demi matte uh, finish. Uh, but I decided to try something new because I noticed with this one, I love the formula, but I feel like it's kind of tough for me to um, find the right shade. Um, so that's why I wanted to try um, Juvia's Place. It had such a big range um, of skin tones. So I wanted to see how the formula works. Um, I got the uh, Velvet, oh, Velvety Matte Foundation. And I got it in the shade um, Ibiza. Um, it says on the box, Our second skin creamy foundation offers smooth application with a soft natural and soft matte finish. I have combination skin, so like right here gets kind of like dry, and then right here it's like a little more like oily. Um, so I've never used like a matte kind of foundation so I'm really curious to see how this one works and I also needed concealer um, so I also got the Conceal and Perfect oh I think it's called I Am Magic uh, concealer um, let's see what shade I think I got it in 18 yeah I think that's the shade so I got Ibiza and 18 um, and they come in these really pretty like um, coral boxes all right, so I got these open, and this is what the packaging looks like for the foundation. I think it's really pretty. I love this color, uh, but I really love the packaging for the concealer. It's um, like the coral top, and then you can kind of see, you get a better look at what the shade is. Um, I wanted to try these out because I usually go to like the drugstore side um, of the Ulta um, and there's not really a big like range when it comes to like the, sh the foundations um, so that's why I wanted to try this out it was a little more pricey than I typically spend like I think this one was like 10 or maybe 12 dollars um, but the the I Am Magic foundation is $20 and then the I Am Magic concealer is $14. So a little bit more, you know, higher of a price tag, but let's see if it's worth, um, worth the extra money. All right, so I'm going to put my hair back um, with my little headband that I used last time. Uh, and I also want to say, I always like to give this disclaimer whenever I do like makeup videos. I really um, don't know what I'm doing <laughs> as far as like makeup goes. I'm not super good at doing my makeup. Uh, I'm just kind of like, you know, your everyday person, you know, trying out these products. So kind of keep that in mind. So I, I really don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, the lady at Ulta did tell me to use a very moisturizing primer. Um, I don't have anything like that. I'm actually, I should have grabbed primer because I really don't have any, um, except I do have this Illuminating Primer by AOA Studio. I got it from Shop Miss A. Um, I didn't try it um, in my Shop Miss A video. I'll link that video down below. And I did put moisturizer on and I went kind of heavy with the moisturizer just to, you know, kind of help with this foundation because I think it can be a little drying. So this is actually my first time trying the primer as well. Okay, so the primer is on. Um, it did make my skin look a little more glowy. So let's go in with the foundation. So I just put a little bit on my hand. Ooh, that was a lot, but <laughs> that's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with the sponge and it's from, it's from AOA Studio. It's the Wonder Blender. Um, so I'm just gonna take some and see how it works. Oh, it's really thick. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, mean, I kind of like the color. I think this seems like a good color for me. Well, a little bit goes a long way. 
I just wanted to insert a clip here. Um, I know my makeup looks super yellow um, in the last um, few clips, uh, but I went ahead and redid my makeup because I wanted to get um, just to insert a clip here in some different lighting just so you could see um, the makeup does not come out yellow like it does um, in the last clip it's just because I think my curtains are yellow in my bedroom because um, I wore it all day yesterday and my husband didn't say anything until he watched the video he was like oh it looks a little like yellowish um, so I just wanted to insert this here so you could see how it looks um, it's very natural looking um, so I just didn't want you to think you know judge it based off of that Okay, so I kind of blended it more like on my cheeks and I'm just kind of going through and blending it on my forehead. Um, so far, I, I really like the coverage. I really like this so far. I think it's a good color match for me um, because at first it looked a little like maybe yellowish, um, but I don't know, it, it kind of just like it blended in so well into my skin, it was really fast to blend. Okay, so... I actually really like um, the coverage um, it just it blended so easily and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel heavy on my face at all um, and it, it just it looks really nice I actually really like it I thought it would look more like dry I don't know why I guess because when I think of a matte foundation I think it would be dry um, but this one I feel like my skin still looks a little luminous it might it might be the the primer um, but I, I really, really like this, so I'm super excited to try the concealer. So I'm just going to take off my glasses, and I'm just going to do it under my eyes. I don't really, like, put it anywhere else. I just kind of want to cover up under my eyes a bit. Now, this shade of the concealer is not as bright as I thought it would be. Um, but let me blend it out and see. Um, this one was actually the lightest I've seen that, um, that wouldn't be, like, too light for me. Um, uh, because I do want to, like, brighten under my eyes. Um, but I also don't want it to look, like, way too white. So let's blend it out. Alright, so the concealer, I like it. Um, it, it looks good. Um... I personally like my, I usually use the e.l.f. Um, camouflage, I think that's what it's called. I usually use that one, and I feel like the coverage is a little bit better with the e.l.f. concealer, uh, but this coverage isn't bad by any means. Um, it's just not as like heavy of a concealer as I would normally go for, just because I do have really dark circles under my eyes. Uh, but this one's nice. It, it, it does look good, and it's not too light, um, but I do feel like it you know, it, it matches the foundation well. So I'm going to finish the rest of my face um, off camera and then I will be back to give my final thoughts. So this is the finished look. Um, I will say that I tried not to use too many powder products just because um, I didn't even really need to set the foundation because it's that matte finish. Um, so I did use like a cream contour and a liquid highlight. Um, but I think it came out really, really good. Um, I really like um, this formula. I didn't think I would like a matte foundation uh, because sometimes my skin can be a little dry. Uh, but I, I think it is pretty good if you have combination skin. It's not too mattifying. Um, I definitely think it was worth the money uh, to give it a shot. Uh, the concealer, um, it's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Um, it's, it's a good concealer. I just think that the e.l.f. Um, camouflage concealer that I normally use, I actually like that one better. Um, so if you like this video, be sure to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!